Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1991 European and Australasian exclusive motivator figure Gripper. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to have a look at the accessories that come with him to help you know if yours is complete. If you're wondering why he looks so familiar, we're going to do some comparisons with him and his original generation one japanese self so yes they've got the same brain master gimmick but it's referred to something differently so i'm going to show you that working in great detail in a second and of course we can see how he compares and indeed looks with some of the other european australasian exclusive figures of the same trio that were released at the same time so quite a bit to get through with you guys today and before we do get started i'd like to remind anybody if you're not a subscriber to this channel to hit that subscribe button for me now please because again it really will help me out so let's have a look at him then now these figures make me laugh because they're just so so basic but on the same hand and i don't know I know I'm quite biased towards Generation 1, but I never had this as a kid. Um, they're just so lovable. These ones, not so much so because they're missing the main, main gimmick of the particular figures. And the fact that the Japanese ones did combine. These can still combine. I will do a video on it separately, but they were never, ever intended to. This figure was only ever released with this sword. And indeed, as they're calling him now, the Energon minifigure. So what they did for Europe and Australasia, they completely changed the whole concept. I'm going to show you this box now. We've got the little thing there. It says the Energon mini minifigure. And we can see here, I'm going to show you the transformation process on this video. It is super basic. But what they did with these figures is they took two Japanese continuities. So we've got Overlord there from Super God Master Force. And then we've got what these were, members of Road Caesar, which was from japanese continuity victory in 1989 they gave them a whole new story so i'm going to say pause there for you guys if you want to read that you can now you can catch up with that we can also have a quick look at his tech specs there as well but yeah so what they did was they integrated two japanese continuities um, and just released a few figures um, as i suppose standalone so we had the motivators which were released and we also had um, overlord that was released in these lovely gold boxes now, the figure itself is as basic as you're going to get. We've got a bit of rotation there in the arms. As you can see, there's no fingers, there's no fists, there's no wrist articulation. There's 100% no waist articulation. And the legs, if you can call this articulation, bend out to the side. So they don't really do anything. No ankle rock or tilt. But again, it's just a lovable brick. Now, the other thing that this particular figure does and it completely stumped me when I first saw it is he has the arms out and it is and it shows you right you can see at the top there to have the arms out in the instructions now I know you might be thinking well that's really obvious but it's actually not because the original figure that came out before it's the Japanese version known as Blacker didn't and it never ever did and I've got to confess it did throw me uh, looking at this because I thought that looks really odd the arms are on this one are able to do that but it is mainly only for the combining purpose because again the Japanese ones can combine to form this guy road caesar so blacker is at the top here and of course when you spin him round like this you can see that the arms are indeed out at the back but when he was in normal robot mode he just had his arms close to the sides like that so the other parts that came with the japanese version we had the head and we had this huge huge seat shield whereas with the um, and the head doubled up as a gun you can see there this is the head as well but with the european one it was just the sword and the brain master which i suppose i'm going to show you now and i'll show you the difference in box sizes in a second so yeah the brain master gimmick it isn't even referred to as that anymore it's just referred to as an energon figure so i'm going to open this up for you because this is a brilliant brilliant gimmick it's genius i suppose the most famous of these nowadays would be star saber he always was but he's more commonly known now due to his haslab new figure that's being built so the brilliant thing about this is there's nothing on the back you've got a bit of articulation here in the arms the legs do move as well um but watch this when you press it down the head appears so this is why in japan they were referred to as brain masters so you've got the lift inside there we're going to slot him into position and we're going to slide it up you can see the head starting to appear 
absolute genius i love that i think it's brilliant it's such such a clever idea so there he is with his sword so funnily enough this is one where the japanese box is actually much bigger uh, not in height um, because they didn't really waste much space with the height it was in a polystyrene insert this would have had if i should take my other european box that i've got here so this is from flame it's all the same size box you can see it would have had a cardboard inlay and it was all tie wrapped in this one unfortunately is missing all of the insides um, but with the japanese one it's much much thicker and you can literally balance this on there and there's about an inch or so space there and that's because this had as i've just said and shown you it had the shield which is the chest piece it had the head and the sword it had a load of pieces so way way more let's have a look at this guy transformed then so let's bring this box back here keep that there let's take it out and this is as simple as it's going to get so we're going to fold the arms in like so so this is how the japanese had their particular figure they just had this moving i'm going to take the energon figure out because what i want to be able to do is make him the pilot or driver as well we're going to fold this up and then we're going to literally just slot the wheels like that down and then clip them together turn it around fold it over brilliant brilliant buggy mode one last bit fold these little tabs out gives it a little bit more aerodynamic look so it's a great it's a great alternate mode funnily enough you do have rubber tires things to be aware of is the chrome you can see it started to come off there and it's starting to fade at the back rubber tires will perish the white inside here sometimes gets a bit sun faded and as you can see this is starting to corrode unfortunately a little bit already huge huge difference in the color scheme just mainly on here with the japanese i'm not going to transform this for obvious reasons but i will tilt it up so you can see just how much shinier the chrome is and i suppose how different it looks with the red cockpit and the translucent orange window again you can see the difference in how the chrome's faded on the european version but let's have a quick look at this then so what we can do we can lift this up we can take this little figure we can carefully carefully fold out the legs we can pop him into position again nice and carefully oh and slot him in and now is that him in there we go now he's the driver and that looks great as well he's completely inside there can you make him out yep there you go again alternate mode looks brilliant you can attach the sword if you want in the any of the five millimeter dowels holes there's two there on the arms on each side so it's up to yourself it's it's not that great is it you can also attach it maybe on the roof no you go oh, you can just about it will fit there but that was more for the shield with the japanese version so not too bad is it what we're going to do we're going to go back then to the robot mode where i'll do a little quick more comparison and then we'll see how he stands and looks with the other european versions of these figures so very carefully fold the legs out fold this back slot the legs down and then as i say the bit that completely threw me fold the tabs over rather is with these arms it does even say to demonstrate oh, sorry to display them uh, with these folded out so i suppose in a way, that's another way to differentiate this guy from the japanese one when looking at him so in robot mode obviously you've got the arms out and again you've got this red on the chest which is completely different everything's starting to reflect sorry about that um, but there you go so there is quite a few differences there let's bring the other european and australasian versions in so this is is this one flame let me remember, yeah this is flame and he had a japanese companion which was laster which is there i'm going to do a complete video on all the differences between these it's going to be uploaded separately for you guys okay then we've got light speed which is this guy and i know that's confusing and please don't get him confused with other generation one light speed because they are different and his japanese version was raver which you can hardly see there again separate video for all of these coming up but this is how these three pose and look together and i'm sure you'll agree they, they you know they're quite 
they're more than interesting they're very interesting they display very well yes they're big yes they're chunky yes they could have been a lot better and a hundred percent they probably should have and would have been better if they did combine but unfortunately they didn't so i hope you enjoyed looking at this particular guy if you want to see videos on any of the others including the japanese ones just type in road caesar or european exclusives to the search bar on this channel and you will be able to find them in the meantime i hope you found this interesting let me know what you thought in the comments and please take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe